So we are going to see how to design a e-stable multivibrator using an e triple five timer IC and or capt capture light. Triple five or multi vibrator. Okay, create a blank project. Click OK. So, got the screen. Click on the components. We need a triple five demo IC, so we'll click triple five. Click OK. Place it anywhere on this board. So this you have the triple five timer IC. Now as you can see this is our diagram for a stable multi vibrator. We'll implement the same here. For voltage source, we use VDC. DC voltage source. Click OK. Since the direction of the battery in the diagram was opposite, so I have rotated it vertically downwards. Like this. I'll extend it further. First, we'll make the connections and then we'll change all the values over here. Here I, I need two resistors, so I'm placing in one more resistance here. Trying to by wire. We have a capacitor over here. C, C analog. Rotate it. Place it over here. Now 4 is connected from here to here, like this. is connected from here to in between some somewhere R3 and C1 in between somewhere R3 and C1 like this and 6 is connected to 2 
so connect it here then uh, 7 is connected somewhere between R2 and R3 so connect 7 somewhere in between R2 and R3 and the control voltage 5 is connected to 1 through a capacitor this so um, our circuit is almost complete now we'll have to change the values this resistance is 2.9 kilo ohms what it properties this is 2.9 kilo ohms this resistance over here is 5.8 kilo ohms 5.8 kilo ohms and this capacitor over here is 0.1 microfarad so we can't type micro over here so we use u like this 0.1 uf Okay, so this capacitor has a value of 0 0.01 microfarad 0.1 uf Okay, one thing to note that in diagram we had the crown over here but in place of crown we'll use notation alias like 0 We'll place it everywhere we have the crown Like this now our circuit is almost complete and we have to place the probes we have missed this resistance this resistance is 10 mega ohms mg v1 is 10 volts VDC. Okay, so now everything is done. So we'll place the probes. First probe is placed over here, and the second probe is placed at this junction. We'll create a new simulation over here. Let it be. Okay, create so a new simulation table is created to give timings so that will give us 4 milliseconds and maximum step size as 0 0.01 milliseconds. I click on apply and okay. Now we click on the play button. So here you will see we have got the waveform. This is the output waveform and this is the charging and discharging of the capacitor.